Welcome back, you're watching Storyboard and we're standing in front of another installation, the Tetrapod, which represents the seven islands of Bombay reclaimed to form the modern day Mumbai. And our conversation with Harsh Goenka continues as Storyboard editor Antranga Swami speaks to him about building RPG as a brand, Harsh's presence on social media platforms and how does he deal with trolls. Let's take a look. One of the other aspects that uh, have come to the fore recently is your presence on social media. In fact, I think at least two of these art pieces and launch I saw on <laughs> thanks to your Twitter update. Now, it's not common to find CEOs coming onto Twitter because Twitter is, like all of us know, a double-edged sword. So what made you come onto social media? As a CEO of a company, my job is also to understand the new trends that are happening. So when the you know when I hear the millennials right. going into Snapchat, mm. I need to understand right. why are they using Snapchat. So I'm on Snapchat too. Right. Not that I've used it. Right. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Reason behind it is it's a great way of tracking people. It's a great way of uh, getting resumes of people who may be interested to work within uh, RPG. I'm on Facebook, but f Facebook for me is a very limited um, circle who I would say are friends. Right, friends and, and family. Who, and Close family, family. Right. and whom I would like to share what I'm doing and uh, what's happening in my life. And uh, it could be a great place that I go and eat or could be a, a, a nice photograph that I've taken. But uh, it's not something that I would Put out like to the world. world. And therefore, I have limited friends and most people who want to be friends, I, I sort of uh, say no to, unless there is a, there is a connection. The uh, Twitter is a medium which I uh, got involved and the big challenge is, is what do you say and how do you say it in 140 characters? characters. It's, it's, you know, for, for me, both the issues were formidable and uh, for the first one week I know I was very passive trying to understand the medium and I had a couple of friends who were already in uh, Twitter and they encouraged me that you know, why don't you uh, voice your opinion and it took some time for me to understand what do I want to convey. Right. Most of my colleagues, when I see, they are either pushing their brand or praising a politician right. whom they want to please or uh, doing things uh, or retweeting things which are absolutely, to me, not much meaning. Right. And uh, on the other hand, it is a very double-edged sword. Twitter as a medium... Um, can be dangerous because it's, you say something and it spreads in no time and you have what is known as this new generation of trolls. Right. One has to be very careful in this medium. It has so why its did you advantages. get there? I mean, when there are so, so many I, dangers, why did you get onto Twitter? I think, I don't know why I got into the Twitter, but right. I, I suppose it's a... It's, it's, it's a there were two or three reasons. One is, of course, one hoped that one can get some amount of branding right. as far as the RPG group is concerned. Though, I think I keep the RPG brand and the Harsh Goenka brand very now That different. you may do, but the consumer doesn't. You know, the consumer that's sees... To, yes. That's up to the consumer. Right. Because 99% of what I tweet has nothing to do with the brand per se. Sure. I don't like to promote brands or when consumers say, hey, you've got a great, great product, I will not retweet it. Right. Uh, if I have something very interesting to talk about uh, what's happened within RPG, for example, let's say if you've used a drone mm. to yes, create, um, you know, string transmission for lines. For KEC, I saw that. Or we create a puncture-proof tire. Mm or we have, uh, we have created a new business for old citizens called right. seniority.in right. 
which I think uh, it, it will do great service to that uh, consumer segment. I tweet about it, right. but uh, normal pushing of advertisements and uh, of compliments, I don't do. Right. I I tend to uh, be on the bolder side, though I need I I need to sometimes err on the side of caution. Right. Um, sometimes I I'm I'm saying things. And then I count up to five, and I and I I withdraw Unsay it, it. Right. and say it. Right. Uh, and I've I've learned this because once you have shot the gun, it's over. It's over. The uh, so it's been a very pleasant experience as far as I've concerned. I've made friends, people whom I didn't know through through Twitter. They were they were distant. Uh, people who could have studied with me or um, people who belong to a certain interest that I have. Um, so I also get a lot of uh, uh, you know, trends right. because you, you come to know information instantaneously right. and uh, how the people are thinking. I think that's extremely important for me to, to understand um, where is, what's, the, what's the millennials thinking, what is the consumer thinking. So I've luckily not been trolled, mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a very negative part about Twitter. Right. The only time I did is after an innocuous tweet which I had done on saying that S Smith uh, was a good captain, and a particular innings yes. he had done better than Dhoni. And I had about 10,000 hate mails that right. came. But then one, when one had invest, investigated further, it was very clear that uh, it was not Dhoni who was doing it or it was not his fans who was doing it, it was his manager who was doing it. Right. So I thought it was a f very poor taste when a manager is attacking uh, through uh, trolls um, right. um, and, and, and it was very poor English, etc. So it, it did disconcert me for some time, but it didn't matter because Dhoni to me has been a hero. Right. So uh, there is, you know, one, you know, we, we all have good innings, we have bad innings, and I, I think if I, if I criticized him for a particular inning, I have not done anything wrong. So uh, I've been different than than other people from business in terms of uh, the Twitter as a medium. Many people think I'm frivolous. Many people think I'm edgy. Uh, many people think. Uh, that uh, I, pour, I, you know, I give them wisdom. I guess that's what brand uh, how HBG brand, is all about. How do you think it will help brand RPG, your presence on Twitter? Because like I said, people will equate the chairman of RPG as RPG. That is what they tend to do. I, I think they're two different brands. And, and to me, I, I do represent RPG to that extent. I need to have a more serious face. Um, I, for example, I was told by by some people, you can't use emojis, right? Because then you don't look, you cannot you look down. Yeah, it doesn't have gravitas, and then you have to look down upon right. the people who follow you. To me, uh, emoji is instantaneous. It is fun, mm -hmm. and I say hell with uh, hell with this whole brand and rules, etc. So to me, I I you know. There is, a, there is a Harsh Goenka as a human being and, uh, and I, I guess 90 percent of the time when I'm on Twitter, I'm Harsh Goenka as a human being with all its pluses and more negatives uh, and so I'm vulnerable. Uh, and if I was positioning myself only as brand RPG and as, as, as a custodian of that, I would have been much more discreet, much more sedate. Okay, now that you've experienced Twitter firsthand, will we see more of RPG SBUs using Twitter for a, from a business perspective? Are you going to encourage that? Are we going to see that happen? There is no rule with an right. RPG, right? And it's up to an individual CEO right. uh, to use Twitter or not. Many right. of many of our CEOs are on the Twitter handle, but they are not as active, right? And they use uh, it much more to promote. Uh, the brand itself of the company, but then that's up to them what they want to do. I'm not there to spoon feed 
what what they will do or or not do but yes what it what it does help is at many times i've had complaints or compliments or even new technology trends which have come to me which i easily you know and if the ceo is on the twitter i immediately pass it on to the person concerned and i see immediate action taking place so that's the, that's the big plus point as as, as far as uh, customer service is concerned so the, f- the final question we've had your focus on art installations we've had your new foray into social media what's next in the soft power soft branding of rpg group or of harsh goenka and kind well i i as far as harsh goenka is concerned there is no branding that i i really do or very consciously do Uh, but as far as rpg is concerned i think we are very aware of the entire digital medium how powerful it is becoming and i and i you will see many much more emphasis in the future happening towards uh, digital uh, uh, advertising digital branding in fact uh, if i look at uh, siet a large part of the advertising went into uh, the digital medium and uh, we've had three films recently on on set very soft films which were which has had a public message typically where set has been put in pretty discreetly right and they all the three have have crossed about a, over a million views right so all three been very successful so you'll see more and more of uh, digital emphasis within the rpg brand strategy right. the other core thing that we are trying to uh, work towards is uh, rpg has a unique part in the entire uh, uh, brand architecture because what we've done is within our vision statement taken the happiness emoji right. as part of our vision statement right and that's that's really a very key constituent of what rpg wants to be it it wants to be a place or, or an organization which makes people happy and where people within are happy, are happy right and and that's what you will see more and more happiness as a theme emerging as from the rpg uh, uh, stable stable perfect thank you so much and I'd like to visit you a year from now and talk about your new adventures in social media and talk about new installations across bombay certainly perhaps across the country thank you so much thank you very much thank you pleasure talking to you with that it's a wrap on story about this week you can catch all our content on facebook twitter and youtube thanks for watching and we'll be back same time next week see you soon